Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another series of playing some Thief games. As you can see, I'm playing a Thief 1 slash gold kind of FM here. And this one is one that I, from a two-part series that I have been recommended, and it was piquing my interest because people were talking about how the second one was reminiscent of Insanity's Crescendo. This is, in fact... Well, it doesn't say, but it is Mystery Man. Oh, yeah, there it is. Mystery Man. And the little briefing text goes like -a this. Well, first of all, these events take place shortly after the events in Thief 1, okay, but before those in Thief 2. The Hammerite Temple that was destroyed by Constantine's minions has been rebuilt. I guess that's that one that you go undercover in. Okay, and the Hammers have built a bigger cathedral, the Cathedral of St. Eva. They've retrieved the trickster's eye good idea there amazing idea and it's now being held in saint eva under strict supervision okay so 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 here's garrett <coughs> life never seems dull around my neighborhood i just spent part of my savings on a magical sword called the mazamune it's supposed to be a holy sword of legend well that's not what i'm interested in perhaps i could sell it for a little more to some wealthy nobleman or a rich collector it seems that someone was jealous of my newly acquired possession. A second assassination attempt was aimed at me. Luckily, I'm not one to be surprised very easily. Having disposed of my new friend, I laid his unconscious body in front of a nearby Hammerite temple after grabbing the letter he was carrying. Those crazy hammers, too bad I won't get to see the look on their faces once they find him. The letter read, by the Master's will, you are hereby ordered to dispose of, quote-unquote, him, and to return with, quote-unquote, the item in question. Failure is not an option. Severe punishment can be expected if these terms are not settled immediately. Interesting. It seems that I've drawn a little attention. No matter. I already know who this Master is. Everyone is talking about his mansion. This master seems to be a very peculiar owner. There are many rumors circulating about this man in the city. Most of them are very nasty. Servants and nobles disappearing and strange voices being heard whispering in the halls. Well, that doesn't scare me and it won't stop me from getting my revenge. Maybe a little treasure to go with it. Rumor says he's got a lot of gold and artifacts hidden away in that mansion of his. As usual, the front gate is heavily guarded. I've heard that his men are completely loyal to him, but it seems that some of them abuse their position and like to have a few drinks on duty. Guess I'll just have to improvise and find an alternate way to get in. Once I'm inside, I'll scout around and locate some information on this master. Oh yeah, and I won't forget the treasure either. I'm almost out of money. Luckily for me, an old acquaintance sold me a map of the mansion. He must have been a former servant of the mansion. I'll have to use the rest of the money to prepare for tonight. I guess this job will make up for all the cash I've just spent. This is going to be very interesting. Oh, I guess it will. Yeah, let's just start a new game here. Taffer, Rogan, Garrett. I am, in fact, Garrett. Let's go. Okay, so what have we got here? The gemstone Ni Nina's heart is kept somewhere, so finding a gem. So good old find a bunch of types of loot mission. I can dig, okay. 4,000? Lord Hector has an expensive fire poker, <laughs> yep. The Mystery Man has a crystalline scepter, so basically just a bunch of loot items. Okay, find out why I was targeted for assassination. Okay, find out if rumors of disappearing nobles are real or fake. Uh, find out who the Mystery Man is. And then uh, head back out. Wow, good mix of objectives. Okay. Oh, yeah, good old... I don't have a compass. Well, that's just dickish. Anyway, let's see. Water arrows, I guess... Well, I have a lot of cash. I can easily buy all of those. Let's see, I've got three. And I doesn't... I don't feel like I need to buy that many things, but this is, a, this is like 2001, so maybe it's not that hard. I don't know. I've got three ropes. That sounds like enough to me. I don't know. If I'm being given the opportunity for a fire arrow, maybe I'll buy one. Yeah, well, you know... That, that seems like an okay sort of stock there. Okay. Now, of course, I've never played this at all, and it's... Oh, my mouse is a little less sensitive in, in here. Let me... Is that okay? Well, not totally, but... Uh, oh. Wow. Uh, okay, so, you know, it is... A thi One mission... Whoa. 
Okay, that's the front door. Okay, that's why I'm over here. And it's from 2001, so, uh, it, you know, it's, it's not going to be, you know, looking like Rose Cottage or anything, but it apparently, you know, its gameplay should be pretty good, so, uh, can we, there's that, you know. Hmm. Okay, do I have a, oh yeah, I have a map. Okay, so here's a map of the mansion, and it's, okay, notes. Rumor says that no one's been inside the western tower. I'm sure you'll be able to get in. I couldn't map out the upper floors because I didn't have access to certain areas. However, I know that they keep some important things up there. You'll have to scout around. Good luck, G, somebody or other. Okay, well, it looks like there's some, some notes. So we didn't have access to the upper floors, couldn't map those. So we have some secret type stuff. Uh, that's in blue for some reason, I guess. Maybe this is an auto-map Thief 1 style. I don't know. Uh, strange voices. So pretty much just, you know, notes and things. And all those guards at the door are pretty funny, you know. Over there. They're funny because they're guards. And uh, I'm not know, used to darkness this thin hiding me, but it's okay. Because just saying like, hey dude, you really, really, really seriously, for really real pinky swear this time, cannot even get up there. I mean, I'm not even joking. Wow. Perhaps I better try to ghost some of these guys instead of spending all day taking them out here. Uh, yes. Uh-oh. No, they all came looking. <laughs> Okay, loading should be quick because it's not all fancy and stuff. Alright, I have to get my bearings around these guys. Wonder if there's any water arrows in the fountain. No, it's just a fountain with uh, masks just spewing water right into there. If you ask me, it looks a bit grotesque, and uh, I would personally not want that fountain in my yard scaring off all the dogs, because God knows you want dogs in your yard to fertilize your flowers for you, you know, carry the pollen from flower to flower with their little wings, you know, dogs. So I guess that guy doesn't ever turn around, ever. Hey, oh, he does. No, I'm completely wrong. I just told a total lie. I should run for president. Okay, these guys have a big, nice-ass mustaches there with a weird nose looking thing. Oh, he's turned around that way. If I can get you to turn facing the other direction, you... Oh. Yeah, you don't have zoom in the in Thief 1. Then I would be very happy and you would have made the greatest mistake of your life. Wow, that was a, a very quick turnaround, but nevertheless I seem to have taken advantage of it just fine. This appears not to be the main house at all, unless the main house is very small, but rather it's just some kind of shed that's actually for a shed. Very, very fancy. So it's, you know, it's made of stone instead of wood. I mean, God, people here, what kind of ridiculous opulence are we even talking about? This is nigh on unacceptable. Oh. Really? Oh, I thought these weren't probable for a minute. Yeah, it's a sword. You just pick it up and you put it down. It's, it's what you do with a sword, you know? Uh, strange... Fancy shed, I'm telling you, seriously. Yeah, the lights don't even flicker, they just kind of turn on and off, on and off, off and on, all day, all night! Yeah. Got to, got to look out and be careful now. Not sure if they actually really did see me, but uh, I think some... Oh, I get it. They're up there, now where... The back. Oh right, I should be looking at my map because, like, freaking obviously here, my map tells me that this is. Oh, ba okay. H maze fountains there. Storage shed. Can't get in the front gate, but. Oh, already I'm slightly confused over what to do here, but, uh... Oh, 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 oh! I see! <laughs> Ropes are uh, your friend. They're your best friend. You can put them in a wedding ring and give it to your beloved and she'll just marry you forever. Every single day, you'll get that sweet, sweet marriage. Uh, come on, now. Well, you know what this means. Take advantage of some bottom-mounted thingy there to use two rope arrows to get up. One to get up and the other to, like, get up some more and, and, and stuff. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Whoa, that was close. 
Oh, I could have just used the one. Well, why does that overhang things like an anesthetic crazy? Oh, I don't know. It's a mystery. Dream man, and there's mystery carpet all over the place. Well, that's pretty crazy if you ask me. Yeah, it's good old thief where you can't jump on the bed for some reason. I don't know. I'm just making a bunch of noise. What kind of log note have we? Oh, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> the master has left me with the keys to the lab. I don't understand how he can create such items. He seems to possess quite a bit of magical talent. He also likes to test my knowledge when he hands them to me. The crystal shall sing once it joins the gold. Oh, it's a clue. I should write that down, probably. Except not. I figured it out immediately. At least this time the key isn't made of gold like my dinner plate. Um... I don't know what that's supposed to be a reference or whatever. There has to be something special about that water in the kitchen! Otherwise, how would my plate react to it? Quite intriguing. The work in the lab is coming along... Damn it. Thief one. The work in the lab is coming along well. New test subjects are being gathered every day for a new experiment. I believe that I am the only one who knows about the existence of this lab. Not anymore. Not even Talbot... Talbo or Drake know of this. There's no way that anyone could get in here, so I doubt anyone would find this information. Time to get back to work. Alexei Pozhitinov. You ought to be making video games there, sir. What? what? Hang on. Okay, so I guess this gold is something I have to touch with a crystal. I really have no idea, but I don't seem to have a crystal. But whatever I have selected seems to disappear when I click it. I don't really know why that is, but it might have something to do with inventory and... You know what? I thought this was the way into the house. Like, why? How? Wait, wait a minute now. What logical sense does it make for there to be a room here and no stairs or doors? Like, in real life. There's just this window that's the only way to get up. That is completely ridiculous. What's what's going on here? And now I have to get back down. Uh, that was unintentional, but it worked, so... <laughs> Why not? Now I have to find an alternate way to get inside or something, and I really don't know what I'm doing, but this hedge maze that I hear about, perhaps I could, well, maybe I could just walk my way across here very carefully and... They somehow will be none the wiser. Okay, I wasn't seen. Good. However, that guy is there, and there's two of them. Incredible. This is a mission with a lot of guards all up in there guarding the mission. And this reminds me of Hedgerows and the Hammerites, which is a pretty fun, neat little mission that I managed to find out about for some reason or other. There are some drunk guards with their backs turned to me. I'm going to play backgammon with them. Hey, guys, what is up, my doge? It looks like I KO'd you, but at the same time, there's no way for me to open the gate. So in morning, I shall place you in a shallow grave, by which I mean the ground, which is extremely shallow. It's so shallow that it's not even a hole. God, people. God. Okay, well, maybe I can... No, they're just kind of there. Just kind of there. It doesn't really make any sense, but I suppose that that's okay. You know, there's this other path that's bugging me for some reason. It's kind of over here. Whoa. Well, hey there, guy. It was all like... <laughs> there's something behind you, and I'm going to find out what it is. Loot! Oh, more loot. Loot is behind you. Oh, man. And, uh, yes. I think that now might be an okay time to leave off when I have no idea how much time has taken. Let me very obviously go into my folder and look at how much <laughs> yeah that's okay and stuff I'm gonna just uh, leave it off here for now so I don't just rush through every mission ever created and end up being like well I've done every single one even freaking a mother's love and bucket get and well whatever uh, okay oh yeah this has been the first part of mystery man and it was 
fun, and uh, there was a lot of guards around, and I haven't really gotten into it very far, but next time I'll continue getting into it very far. See you guys tomorrow.